Wildcats, here we go. As always, let's start off with our joke of the week. How does the sushi say hi to the bee? Wasabi! I hope you guys got some enjoyment. I, I know you did. Whatever. Nevertheless, I'm sure you all did enjoy the September Fest. Assumption Church's 30th annual September Fest took place this weekend from Friday the 13th to Sunday the 15th at Assumption Church. There was a lot of good food and activities for individuals of all ages to enjoy. There were rides, raffles, and even bingo, and many members of Fairfield Woods had the privilege of enjoying themselves there. In other fun town news, the Friends of the Fifth Republic Library are beginning to bring back the Fifth Republic Library Fairfield Food Truck Festival and it's coming back to Jennings Beach. It will take place on Sunday, September 22nd from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and admission will be $5 for anybody over two and it will be free for people under two. Um, all proceeds will go to the Fairfield Public Library and many vendors are actually returning from last year including Fork in the Road, Lobster Craft, Milk Craft and in addition to plenty of new and old vendors which I'm super excited to now try out phone releases like the iPhone 16 Pro Plus and Pro Max which is coming out on September 20th. Another phone that has come out is the Google Pixel 9, 9 Pro, Fold and Pro XL. In other updates, iOS 18 is scheduled to release with the iPhone 16 on September 20th. For more in-depth info about the iPhone 16, Pixel 9 and iOS 18, go to the FWMS Broadcaster site and as always, stay updated. Breaking news here in the geopolitics world. It was reported on Sunday afternoon that the 45th US president and the current Republican presidential nominee for the upcoming presidential election faced an assassination attempt at his Florida golf club. This is now the second assassination attempt on former President Donald J. Trump d just this summer. Much controversy has come out about the Secret Service duties and walls protecting this former president, especially as tensions raise and we get closer to Election Day when Donald J. Trump will face Vice President Kamala Harris. Stay tuned for more election details. Given that election day is coming up, many other officials are up for re-election, including some local Connecticut officials some of which are the congressman from Connecticut's 4th District, which does serve Fairfield. In that race, Democratic incumbent Jim Himes will face the Republican Michael Goldstein. In addition to this, Bob Blanchard, which, who is a Democrat, will face Republican incumbent who's held this office since 2015, Tony Wang, for the 28th State Senate District seat, who, which is covering the town of Fairfield. Huang generally has liberal poli political views while remaining fiscally conservative, so it will be interesting to see more of Rob's political views. Many more Connecticut elections are taking place, including one for Fairfield's three House of Representatives seats in the Connecticut House of Representatives, and they are all taking place in the coming week. As many of you may know, there have been many new phone releases, like the iPhone 16, Pro, Plus, and Pro Max which is coming out on September 20th. Another phone that has come out is the Google Pixel 9, 9 Pro, Fold, and Pro XL. In other updates, iOS 18 is scheduled to release with the iPhone 16 on September 20th. For more depth info about the iPhone 16, Pixel 9, and iOS 18, go to the FWMS Broadcaster site, and as always, stay updated. We are two weeks into the NFL season and most rosters are officially set. However, how those rosters do get constructed in the first place is perhaps one of the most interesting but yet unknown parts to fans not involved in the sport. Luckily for us, over the summer, I sat down with ESPN front office insider, the former general manager of the New York Jets and former executive vice president of football operations for the Miami Dolphins, Mike Tannebaum, and he spoke about his journey and some keys to being an NFL general manager and executive. Check out the article on the Woods Broadcast site linked in the description about how to be an NFL GM. And to see the full interview, go to the Chase of Sports News YouTube channel linked in the description. In other news, Sunday night was the 76th Annual Emmy Awards, which honor and reward actors and producers of television programs from seasons that were released in the year prior. And many things stood out. 
Hiroyuki Sanada of Shogun won the Best Lead Actor in a Drama Series, and Shogun as a whole won the award for the Best Drama. Despite not winning in any Lead Actor or Actress category, The Morning Show and Only Murders in the Building had multiple actors and actresses up for Best Lead in their respective genre. To learn more about the event and its winners, check out the article on the Woods Broadcast site and take a look at some of the best actors and shows from this past year. I think that's all we have for you today, though. From Fairfield Woods and alongside RF Kapoor, I'm Chase Coburn. Thanks for watching, and we're out. Wish a shot! My life in a nutshell, everybody. <laughs> How does the sushi? Also on the Fairfield Woods broadcast website, if you want to learn more, my bad. We are two weeks into the NFL season and most rosters are officially set. However, how those rosters do get constructed in the first place is perhaps one of the most interesting but yet unknown parts that, um, uh, hold on, just restart. I can do this flawlessly. It's the NFL, come on, Chase. Hero, you? Hiroyuki. Hiroyuki. Hiroyuki Sanada. What is it? Hiroyuki Sanada. Sanada. Hiroyuki Sanada. To learn more about the event. To learn more about the event. Need advent. To learn more about the event and its. Oh, I was laughing. Okay, come on, Chase. To learn more about the event. Oh my gosh, Chase, what is wrong with the event? It's not no, it's fine. It's not that. It's not that. No. I think that's all we have for you today, though. From Fair. Nah. From Pear Peel Woods. From Pear Peel Woods.